Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing um this is a random horse. Not horse. Um I wanna say a rock not a rocking chair, but like a a cradle, a rocking cradle with a dragon on top of it. I said horse because naturally I thought of like a cradle that, you know, is normally a horse instead of this one where obviously it's a dragon but um unfortunately this episode everybody is waiting for vegeta and trunks to come out of the hyperbolic time chamber and they've been in there for longer than they're supposed to Goku sitting outside the door thinking to himself, oh, they should have already come out. But you want to know, like, like, it's it's crazy, right? For those people who say that Vegeta should be stronger than Goku, right? The only time that you can say Vegeta is stronger than Goku is when Vegeta and Trunks first comes out of the hyperbolic time chamber. I think that that year of training that they did, they spent a full year training. Like, they did nothing else but train for that full year, other than, like, obviously sleep. But they didn't, like, do any family time, family, like, you know, they didn't do any of that. They spent their time training. I think that that would be the only time that you could say that they were stronger, because they went a full year of training, and Goku and Gohan did nothing for the time that they were in there. So, that's the only time where you can like generally say that they were stronger. But, when Goku and Gohan goes in, like it like it's a different ball game like they're in a different league when they come out and even though i think um piccolo i mean not piccolo even though go um vegeta and trunks i think went in again they still didn't come out and be any stronger than goku and gohan so when fans say that vegeta is just should just be stronger like, there's nothing to say that the show never shows us that Goku's training has, oh, it, like, it shows that Goku's a better, tra like, Goku trains better than Vegeta does. Goku knows how to train his body more efficiently than Vegeta knows how to train his. Goku has been training his entire life. Whereas Vegeta hasn't been training his body. Vegeta has just been strong his entire life and has just fought against people. I wouldn't say that he like did anything remotely like Goku did. We could say that he trained a little. Yeah, like um, them teaching him how to fight maybe. But... Somebody like Goku has tr trained in martial arts his entire life by many different people. So the type like when Goku has to train by himself, he has a lot like a lot of basis to enhance his training where Vegeta normally does didn't have that, you know, so. um, And Goku's just like a natural fighter. Yeah, Vegeta is a prince, but if we go by the standard of how their previous generation worked, Vegeta was the king, King Vegeta, right? But he wasn't the strongest. The strongest would have been Burdock, which was Goku's dad. So they had like their lead fighter and their king. So if Prince Vegeta is the king, then Goku is the lead fighter naturally people seem to like forget that that's the dynamic that they had because when uh frieza was getting ready to destroy everything i don't remember prince vegeta i mean king vegeta being there i remember burdock being there front line front and center fighting but no king vegeta but uh let's get into this
finished with this picture of the rocking dragon that's it's a rocking it's like a or a cradle dragon that 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 works because it's a you know it's a cradle for the children or for the child speaking of which bulma bulma's dad put trunks to uh to sleep in this cradle and bulma freaked out because she was having difficulties with a few things and woke him up and i'm like come on now if you like like <laughs> kind of aggravating like that's like somebody putting your child to sleep and then you coming home and then waking them up right and then expecting that person to put them back to sleep like that's literally like the worst thing in the, like Nah, it's not, I was about to say it's the worst thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But it's a pretty bad one because somebody else held the responsibility of doing this certain task. And then you, being irresponsible, uh, decided to undo the response, like the my responsibility and then expect me to do it again. You know, that's like me. That's like me feeding your dog. When you're not home, you get home and then you don't feed him like the next day or whatever. And then you call me and you're like, wait, did you feed my dog? He's hungry for some reason. And then you expect me to feed you like, you know, like that's almost like the same thing. But like that's a far off like that's way more far off than, uh, you know. The other example that I gave, but it's whatever. Uh, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love. Thanks for watching.